Hi, and thank you for joining us here at Tax Talk UK, where we talk about all things tax and other important aspects of working for yourself, um, being self-employed, running a small business. So today I'm going to show you how to file your VAT return in your free agent um, software. Before I do, if I could please ask you to take a moment to subscribe to our YouTube channel. That way you'll easily be able to refer back to this information if you should need to, and um, also be able to find the other information that we have on a whole wide range of topics, including other information on how to use your free agent software, um, which is all organized in our playlists. So back to then um, submitting your VAT return from your free agent software. So here we are then in the free agent um, dashboard. Now, of course, uh, if you are VAT registered, um, you will now be needing to um, be submitting your VAT returns using um, Making Tax Digital, which in effect means submitting the return from your software. Now, your software will do that for you. Um, no problem at all. However, it is important to understand that it's going to submit the information that you've entered. So it's really important that we just take the time to check that the information has been entered correctly. Now, if you have um, entered all of your um, sales invoices, your purchase invoices, if you have allocated all of the transactions to categories from your um, bank and that, that matches the bank, um, then there's um, a good chance that everything is in order. But still, we want to um, be able to see the individual um, transactions that make up the totals for the tax return that's going to be um, submitted. Um, so that's what I'm going to show you how to do um, firstly. So if we look at um, taxes in the um, in the drop down um, under the taxes menu in the um, in the top bar um, and we click into VAT. So um, this is going to show us all of the VAT returns up until um, this time and the, the current um, VAT um, quarter, assuming that it's quarterly returns that we're um, doing, we would just simply click the blue link that would take us into that VAT return. And from what we have told free agent, what that is going to submit now to HMRC. Um, so you can see here the total um, VAT return. So you can see the total sales um, VAT, the total purchase VAT that's been reclaimed and the key, um, the key figure that you'll be interested in is the amount that you've got to pay to HMRC. Now, if you've been keeping a, a track of your sales and your purchases throughout the period, you should have an idea of what you expect this um, figure to be. Um, so that will be the first indicator if, if you're happy that the information is, um, is correct. But I just want you to click into the full report next to the, the preview. This is going to show you exactly how all of those figures are made up. So exactly all of the invoices that are going to be shown in that box one for your sales VAT. And, and then if we scroll down, that shows the list of all the, all the invoices um, for the VAT amount and the net amount. And then if you scroll down, it's going to do the same for the purchases. So it's going to show us the total on that preview that we saw for box four, which is your purchase, um, purchase fat box and the total. And it's now showing us. Um, so this really is important to be um, scrolling, scrolling through just to be um, double checking that we're happy that we have claimed VAT on the correct um, things. So for example, here, one that stands out um, for me is stamps. And we wouldn't ordinarily be expecting to see stamps at 20%. So we would um, refer back to our source documentation um, to check. And if that is incorrect, then we can just simply um, correct that. Um, at this time. So this shows why it's really important that you just take the time 
to scroll through that report um, just to be certain that the information is accurate and there's no um, there's no errors contained in there. You should then also export this um, either to save in a file um, on your computer or to um, to print. It's important that you keep your um, breakdown of your VAT returns um, in the event that you have a VAT inspection. The um, the VAT inspector, the officer that that carries out the um, check, will already have the VAT return information because that has been submitted to HMRC. All of this information doesn't get submitted, so you will need to be able to say how you've. Of, um, how you've arrived at these figures and to be able to do that you need the full report now if you are still using the same software at that time then of course it will be accessible but it's just something to bear in mind um, to make sure that you do um, perhaps at least export it to your computer file so you're not completely reliant on maintaining the subscription um, if, for example, you wanted to change um, providers or if you um, were no longer self-employed, you would still need to um, have the records available. Um, so that's that's important. So once you've checked that everything's OK, um, now this is a demo um, account. So for that reason, it's not connected live to HMRC. But here where you see here, um, this is unfiled. Um, as long as you have um, your gateway account with which is um, with HMRC on gov.uk, your login that allows the connection from your software to HMRC, as long as you have that for your MTD um, VAT um, service, um, then you will be able to submit that. You just literally hit the button and the software will um, submit that directly to HMRC um, using all the, um, all the requirements that MTD um, requires. And you will then see a submission um, receipt and receive an email um, from most of the providers um, will provide um, that. But once you've submitted your um, return, you'll get a little email from free agents to um, to just to confirm that that is all um, submitted. So as you can see, once you've actually undertaken the bookkeeping side and you have all of the information in free agent, um, submitting the VAT return to HMRC is very straightforward. Um, and then all, all to do then is to make sure that you make the payment before the deadline um, or you can set up a direct debit, um, which, which just ensures that um, that payment is never overlooked. So I hope this helps you to understand how to submit your VAT return from your free agent um, software. Um, please do look at our um, playlist for free agent software, which has um, demos and information on other, um, other things that you will need to be doing in your free agent software. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.